Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to share with you techniques on making an isometric background. And we're going to be learning about two keyboard shortcuts that I think are going to be very useful in terms of speeding up your workflow. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got a blank canvas here and I'm going to start off on a blank layer. I'll use my brush tool and I'm just going to go ahead and create a line. So this is going to serve as the grid. We're going to learn about the two keyboard shortcuts that I think are going to help you quickly make this grid. And in previous videos, I've talked about making grids in other ways. Um, there's more than one way to skin that cat. So once you've drawn that line, what I'd like for you to do is to hold down the Option Command T key. And then you're going to hover your cursor over to where it looks like an arrow and to simply drag down to whatever distance you want. If you want to constrain that by holding down the shift key, that's cool too. Then you're going to hit enter to commit that change. Once you've done that, you're going to hold down the shift option command T key. And as you keep doing that, notice that it just makes multiple, multiple copies. So this is a quick way of repeating your um, previous transform. Now I can merge all of these layers together by holding down Command E. And I've got basically a set of horizontal lines. Now what I can do is I can hit the Transform tool. I can right click and I can choose Skew. And what I'll do is I'll just skew this downward like so. And I'll hit Enter to commit that change. Next what I'll do is I'll make a copy by hitting Command J and that makes a duplicate. And I'll hit Command T to transform it and then just flip horizontal. So right away, you can see that I've got the making of a isometric grid. And at this point, what I can do is I think I might need to reposition these up a little bit. And that angle of skew will determine the angle of your isometric grid, right? So in this case, you might be looking at this grid and saying, well, it's, it's too skewed. You can always adjust the amount of skew. So that's a variable that you can control. Once you have that, you're just gonna merge these two layers and let's just drop the opacity by hitting the V key, gets us back to the move tool and I'll type in four for 40%. Now I'll make a brand new layer and I can begin drawing my isometric objects. So I'll just start off somewhere over here and I'll draw you know, a, a building. And I can follow these lines. And I've got my first structure, right? Now, if I wanted to add windows to this particular structure, what I can do is I'll make a brand new layer and let's go ahead and create our first window. And you can make it as fancy as you want. I'll repeat the same technique that I showed earlier about the grid. What we're going to do is we're going to hold down the Option Command T key. And we're going to uh, move the object down. We'll hit Enter. Now if we hold down the Shift Option Command T, we've made extra copies that are equidistantly spaced from the original. Now we can merge these items together by shift selecting all of those layers and hitting Command E. And now let's repeat that same process. Let's go ahead and have this stuff go across the building. So we're gonna again, hold down Option Command T. We're going to uh, take our um, windows and move them off to the right, like so. Hit Enter to commit your transform. And then if you hold down the Shift, Option, Command, T key, you have copies. So it's a super fast way of working. And you can have, uh, you know, if you're, you know, creating environments or buildings or other things of that nature, um, you can make your own stock, you know, building shapes, and you can easily change the windows. You don't have to laboriously go through and draw every single one. You, know, you can always make some customized things like, you know, you can add bricks or other elements to kind of differentiate your buildings. But, the, you know, for the most part, most buildings tend to be pretty symmetrical and they tend to be pretty, you know, fixed in terms of structure. Not always the case, but most of the time. All right, so we'll just go ahead and merge those. Let's do it one more time. This time we'll go with some square windows. And 
and I can move this down a bit, hold down the Option Command T key, move in, and then just reposition it where I want it to go. Hit Enter to commit the change, and then hold down the Shift Option Command T to make copies. Again, one more time, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna repeat these windows going vertically. So we'll hold down the Option Command T key, We'll make our copy, hit enter, and then shift option command T. So great way to make isometric objects relatively quick, all within Photoshop, super useful. It'll save you a ton of time, especially when you're trying to build, you know, let's say a, a city uh, scape or some kind of a neighborhood you can easily use this technique to save yourself a ton of time. I hope you found this video to be of use. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, has, this, has this tip helped you out in any way? Uh, or uh, do you have a better way of doing this? Let me know. I'm always open to learning new things myself. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.